Stand Up South Africa, that sounds absolutely brilliant. It sounds like it has all the ingredients to make a fantastic show, so don't miss it. It's going to be phenomenal. Now, there's no doubt that a traditional South African milk tart or milk turkey is a real winner at the dinner table, and the same can be said about a delectable Swiss roll. But what happens when you combine the two? As I said, cultures come together. Swiss roll and our roll as South Africans. So today, we're celebrating one of uh, our favorite South African classics by creating new memories in the kitchen with our snowflake milk tart Swiss roll. I know, it's mind-blowing. It's the perfect flop-proof treats to share a little homemade happiness with your loved ones this Heritage Day, and once again, I called her back. She was going to go home. And I said, please stay. Chef Chumi is okay. back here. I'm sorry. I know you were halfway down the road, but I said you must stay for this. Yeah, you told me about duos. So I was like, I have a duo of my own. Yes, you do. Let's just show you how we duo okay, in the kitchen. That's right, girl. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Chef Chumi, <laughs> Swiss roll, Switzerland. Yeah. South Africa, milk tart. How do they come together? Flavor. Flavor. It's all about the flavor, my guy. No, that's it. It's the flavor, the beautiful milky creaminess of the the milk tart, and then that spongy Swiss roll. Hey, my guy, that's like heaven uh, on it, earth. Yes, it is. It feels like I mean I have never tasted this before, but already I am I'm, I'm I'm going for it. Like in my mind, I just feel like it's amazing. And I know that we're gonna use snowflake, mm -hmm. and I know the snowflake range with the snowflake too fresh to flop range. The only limit is your imagination, as you can see. So whether it's sweet or savory, hot or cold, grab a couple of aprons and meet in the kitchen to create a, a homemade happiness in your way. And you can mix Switzerland, South Africa, why not? It's creativity. So we all love our traditional South African foods and desserts, but you know, we actually have to celebrate them. Our diverse cultures must be celebrated with recipes that have been passed down from one generation to the other. And we're talking like savory, mm -hmm. you know, in Dombolo, fluffy naan bread. So whether it's a Sunday morning, cook sister or cook sister, uh, there are so many new memories to create today with the convenience of the snowflake range. Now, I know that you've got something here. Okay. Your whisk technique is quite whisky. Look at you go. I, I did not go to chef school for nothing. Look at this. <laughs> oh my word, <laughs> chef, chew me. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get that sponginess of our Swiss roll. Okay, so we're trying to egg whites. I'm yes. correct. How many egg whites have you used I've in there, chef? Egg, four egg whites in here. Four. And the whole idea is you want to whisk it into soft peaks while you're adding the cost of sugar. And this is, can I just commend you? Because uh -huh. you could use a mixer. Yeah. But you said I'm using my wrist because you know what? It's about that labor in our heritage. But now, why are you exposing me? Because I'm you know? about to expose this Shh. and say... <coughs> did you do that on a machine? Um, Can we just pretend that she da, did that by da, hand? Da, da, just da. Da. She did that a little <laughs> earlier by hand. There was no machine. You see a machine, there's no machine here. Yeah? There's no machine. Can I help you with something? I need you to help me, sir. Okay, talk to me. Because we need to make the filling for this. And to start the filling, I've got some uh, milk, cinnamon, and we've got, uh, yeah, milk, cinnamon, and... Going in here, in yes. essence, what we want here is for it to be nice and warm. We okay. don't want it to burn because we're going to be adding eggs to it. So I'm ready. You have to put in there two tablespoons of our snowflake cake flour, two, two tablespoons, tablespoons of our snowflake corn flour. Gotcha. Add the cinnamon, mix those dry ingredients first, then add your vanilla essence and your egg. Whisk that up like yes. I was whisking. You see I will that? try my best. I'll <laughs> use the machine that we have under the counter. I'm kidding. There's no machine. There's no machine. And then we'll do that. And once you do that, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Correct. Is that fine? And then okay, while great. you do that, so I'll So we've got continue. two tablespoons of each of these. So I'm going to go tablespoon. I like the measurement. It's important. Also, in this bowl already, uh, Chef Chumi has told me that there's a half a cup of sugar, of just sugar. to let you know. And then, of course, I'm going to go in with my beautiful corn flour. That's going to be two tablespoons. Two. And this is going to be perfect. You know why? Because Chef Chumi told me to do it. Yes. That's why it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Simple. This is then, why you're the perfect accompaniment. Dry, the well, also, we have a good size connection in the kitchen. So that's actually the best thing about you and I being here. Dry ingredients get mixed together first so that there's that good spread of everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're not going to get the clumpiness that could happen if you mix in the wet ingredients too early. Correct. How did I know that? Because <laughs> Chef Chumi told, told me. me. Right. Uh -huh. So that's how we go. Right. Another thing that you need to know is that with Snowflake, there is also something called variety, right? And that's what, while I mix this in, I want to tell you a bit more about variety. The variety that you get here is absolutely sensational, all right? Because the act of eating and sharing food as some more of a sort of a ritual mm -hmm. in our lives, it's daily routine. And thanks to Snowflake celebrating these moments and creating homemade happiness. Couldn't be easier from muffins to maguena. There is an option for everybody. Don't forget that. So while I mix this in, I want to make sure that this is, goes here. We're mixing it nicely and I'm going to go, wet ingredients are in yep. and I'm whisking my life for you, okay? Do it, keep Mixing doing it. my life for you, that's what you're gonna do. Also, if you wanna get the recipe, expressoshow.com. Oh my whisking. word, here we go, I'm ready. Keep whisking. I'm ready. Whisking. whisking, this is great. While I whisk, to get this delicious recipe, head on over to expressoshow.com as mentioned, and let us know what you would create 
with Snowflake. You still stand the chance to win great prizes for, uh, for creating your own homemade happiness with Snowflake. And all you have to do is simply purchase a Snowflake product and keep your till slip as proof of purchase. Head on over to Snowflake's Facebook page to post a picture of your creation and your Snowflake product in the comments of the competition. Post and use the hashtag Snowflake Homemade. Thank you so much, Chef Chumi. And you can be a lucky winner of a two and a half thousand rand cash prize or voucher to the value of two and a half thousand rand. T's and C's apply and can be found on expressoshow.com and of course snowflake.co.za. The, re the recipe certainly says that this is what you're gonna be left with, which is actually something gorgeous. You're gonna spread that over your, your Swiss roll to complete the whole look of it. Mm -hmm. And then of course afterwards, some brown sugar on the top and so cinnamon. Sugar, yeah. And then I'm gonna just complete this, but you Please. go over to expressoshow.com, get the recipe and do it on your own and I'll complete this. And the magic happens when you see on your screen the completed product. It's going to be gorgeous.